Welcome to Kickstarter Conniption. I'm Kevin Delp. And I'm Melissa Delp. We're happy to be part of the Tantrum House family. Today we are looking at Arkham Ritual. It's a deduction game for three to seven players, and it's coming to Kickstarter in February. In Arkham Ritual, you and the other players find yourselves taking part in a mysterious ritual. Your goal is to survive the night without going insane. The game comes with 22 cards. There are blue sane cards, red cursed cards, and some special events and characters. There will also be some sort of insanity markers to keep track of your level of sanity. At the beginning of the game, each player is dealt a card. The trick is that you can't look at your own card. You have to display it outward so others can see it. Kind of like Hanabi. Then the start player draws a card, looks at it, and passes it face down to another player. And here's where the deduction begins. Now, the player who receives a card can't look at it. I mean, he has to make a decision, make a choice, whether to keep the new one he got by discarding the one he already had face up, or he could keep the one he already had and um, pass the one um, face down to another player. Now, that's a gamble because he could be discarding a card that was a good one. In this case, I had a good card by getting a cursed card, or in the, another case, I could hopefully keep my good card by uh, passing the bad card. Yeah, but you don't know. So like you said, it is a gamble. So the game continues with players drawing from the deck and passing cards until one of the end game conditions is met. So under normal rules, you're safe if you have a blue card that doesn't match any other card. But there are three copies of each artifact. If there's a match, then you lose sanity. Also under normal conditions, if you have a red card, you lose a sanity. But if the cult is out, then things switch. All the blue cards become unsafe and cause you to lose a sanity instead, and the red cards, as long as they don't match, are okay. The other scenario is if at least one gate and the Cthulhu is out, then the person with the Cthulhu is okay, and everyone else loses sanity based on the number of players in the game minus one. You really have to be watching which cards are out, because that can help you deduce what color card you have. Also by what the other players do. If players keep offering you a card, it might mean that you have a good one and they're trying to <laughs> get you to discard it. Or it might mean you have that really bad one like the Gate or Cthulhu and they don't want to lose like a whole bunch of stuff. Or they could just be using reverse psychology on you. Now the opposite is also true. If people keep avoiding you and never pass you a card, it might mean that you already have a bad one that's going to make you lose sanity. Yeah, along those lines, sometimes when you're playing, you just get stuck and no one's passing you cards. So we thought maybe a little change um, to the rules could be that um, when you are the active player and it's your turn to actually pick a card, um, usually in, I mean, in the rules, you're supposed to pick a card and look at it and then pass it to any player. We thought maybe a change could be that when you pick a card, you don't look at it and you have the option to switch it for your own card. It just might give you a better chance in the end and by the end of the game. Along that note, when you're losing and gaining sanity, we thought, um, well, currently it's you actually gain insanity. We thought psychologically it might feel better if you actually start with sanity, those sanity gems, and you're physically losing them throughout the game. I'd say this feels more like a reverse blind mafia um, because you know what everyone else has but not what you have and in mafia is the opposite you know yourself but not the others um, there is actually no discussion or verbal bluffing written into the rules but if your group likes that type of social aspect you could definitely add in some taunting heckling maybe even some bluffing oh you're gonna take that i don't know um, you just have to be careful that you don't actually give out any important information yeah, for the game, I think the artwork is fine. I think the fun is trying to figure out what is happening and that banter you can have with your friends. Now, the game says three to seven players. Personally, I think we like it at five or more. Right, because at the lower counts, you're actually supposed to add in some dummy players, some hands that are open. If you want a, a game that's light, um, to get that party started for game night, then check out Arkham Ritual on Kickstarter.